this morning. We want to turn now to Infrastructure Minister Catherine McKenna holding a news conference, expecting to announce she's not going to run for re-election. Let's listen. Are in pain from the ongoing legacy of colonization, forced assimilation, residential schools, and systemic racism that continues today. We have a reckoning to do as a country. As National Chief Perry Bellegarde told me early this morning, the Truth and Reconciliation Commission has shown us the way to the mountaintop, but we have to do the climbing. Thanks to all of you for coming. When I got into politics, now eight years ago, I made two simple promises to myself. Always fight for what I believe in and leave when I had done what I got into politics to do. I hope when people look at the record I've built over the better part of a decade, that I, they'll see that I kept my first promise. Most important to me personally, I hope my kids feel that way. Well, I'm here this morning to keep the second one. Over the weekend, I informed the Prime Minister and the President of the Liberal Party that I won't be seeking re-election as a Member of Parliament for Ottawa Centre whenever the election happens. It was a difficult decision, but it's the right one for me and my family, and it's the right time to make it. Like many Canadians, living through COVID-19 over a very long year made me step back and reflect on what matters to me most. It's quite simple. Two things, my kids and climate change. Quand je suis entrée en politique il y a huit ans, je me suis fait deux grandes promesses. Toujours me battre pour mes convictions et ne partir quand j'aurais fait ce que j'étais entrée en politique pour accomplir. J'espère que lorsqu'on regardera ce que j'ai construit au cours de presque une décennie, on verra que j'ai rempli ma première we'll promesse. That I fulfilled my first promise. Et ce qui compte le plus pour moi, c'est que mes enfants, eux, le pensent. Is that my children agree. Je suis ici ce matin pour garder I'm ma seconde this. promesse. Au cours de la fin de semaine, j'ai informé le premier ministre et la présidente du Parti libéral de mon intention de ne pas essayer de me faire réélire comme député d'Ottawa Centre aux prochaines élections, quelle qu'en soit la date. Ce n'a pas été facile, mais c'est la bonne décision pour it's moi the right decision for me et pour ma famille. And my family. Et je la prends au bon moment. And I'm taking it the right time. Comme nombre de Canadiennes et de like Canadiens, many Canadians, this endless year of COVID-19 has led me to step back and think about what's important to me. Two things, my children and climate change. When I first asked the people of our community, our awesome community of Ottawa Centre to support me, my kids were four, six and eight. Now my youngest is 12, he's kind of really a teen, <laughs> and my eldest is off to university in a year. I don't have many years left with them at home, and I want to spend more time with them. They're pretty awesome. And while thankfully we will get out of the pandemic, we still have a climate crisis to fight. This is a critical year for climate action in the most important decade that will decide whether we can save the only planet we have. I want to spend my working hours helping to make sure that we do. When I got into politics in 2013, I was tired of negative and divisive politics, and I wanted to do something meaningful to help solve real problems Canada faced and bring positive change. Within literally a few hours of becoming Canada's first Minister of Environment and Climate Change, I was leading a team working day and night to deliver the Paris Agreement.
We then fought long and hard to protect it from Donald Trump. And we fought longer and harder to live up to our commitments right here in Canada. We delivered Canada's first meaningful climate plan and Canada's first price on pollution across the country. It is the law of the land now, backed up by the Supreme Court. Two-thirds of the country voted for a candidate that supported it last election, and even former opponents have begun to accept it. For the many people who are understandably cynical about politics, I hope you take that as hard evidence of what's possible. Things can change, sometimes the biggest of things. And of course there's always more to do because that is what progressive politics is all about. When I gave the Prime Minister my news, I thanked him for the honour and privilege of being part of the team. I plan to continue in my role for as long as needed. And I also told him I would be happy to support Canada's international leadership on climate to ensure a successful outcome at COP26 in Glasgow. I got into politics because I wanted to help people. It kind of sounds corny and cliched, I know, but I'm still a girl from the hammer at heart. And the Hamilton my parents raised me in, it taught me that your friends and neighbors matter as much as anyone you'll ever meet. John and Pat McKenna made sure I took that lesson with me wherever I went in life. My father, an immigrant from Ireland, and my mère, née à Val d'Or, Québec, they also reminded me time and time again how fortunate I am to live in Canada. I love you both very much, and I want to thank you for being such awesome human beings. I hope that my community here knows that I've done everything I could to fight for them. I will be forever grateful that you took a chance on me many years ago. Being the first woman elected to represent Ottawa Centre has been the honour of my life. I love our community and I love the people in it. Okay, now let's make sure Ottawa does become the greenest capital in the world. I put 100% of my heart and soul into this job every day I've done it. I feel proud of what we've accomplished and lucky to have been part of it. From important things for our community, like this great footbridge behind us, and electrifying our entire bus fleet, to essential things for our country and our planet, like leadership in the fight against climate change, and building the infrastructure for the future we want. That means historic investments in public transit, in active transportation, in natural infrastructure, and it means embarking on Canada's first national infrastructure assessment. We need to make sure that every decision we make drives us to net zero emissions by 2050. As the late Gord Downey said, he was a committed environmentalist, I'll remind you, there's no dress rehearsal. This is our life. In this spirit, I want to say three things in closing. First, for all the climate change conversations I've had in all the fancy rooms I've had them in, the most instructive classroom has been in the natural world. If I forget everything else about my life in politics, I'll always remember being out in our amazing nature with incredible indigenous peoples who generously shared their land and their traditional knowledge with me. Camping out with the Lutzel K before we announced Canada's newest national park, Aidene Nene, kayaking in Tarirutupamanga with an Inuit elder, canoeing in Guayanas while a Haida youth drummed and sang, hiking in the inspiring Torngat Mountains with Inuit leader Natan Obed as my guide. These are moments that leave a mark on a person. I'm beyond thankful to the people who have shared their knowledge 
and their history and wisdom with me. I will carry it forever. Même si j'oubliais toute ma vie, tout sur ma vie en politique, je me souviendrai toujours d'avoir été dans notre merveilleuse nature avec des Autochtones qui ont si généreusement partagé leur paysage et leur savoir traditionnel avec moi. Ce sont là des moments qui laissent des traces. Je ne pourrais jamais remercier assez ceux et celles qui ont partagé leurs connaissances, leur histoire et leur sagesse avec moi. Ces souvenirs me suivront toute ma vie. My entire life. Second, I say this to my team and to the many kind people who have reached out about the political environment. And I say it especially to the young girls out there who are thinking about politics and about whether it's for them. Do it! And when you do it, don't be afraid to run like a girl. And I'll be there cheering you on. Every positive lesson you have learned in life will serve you well in politics. But get into politics to do something, not to be something. There's a lot to dislike about this business, but you can make a bigger difference in the lives of more people than you can anywhere else. Pour toutes les petites filles qui songent à la politique et qui, qui se demandent si c'est fait pour elles, lancez-vous. Et lorsque vous le ferez, n'ayez pas peur de courir comme une fille. Je serai là pour vous encourager. I'll be there to cheer you on. Third and finally, I want to thank you, the many, many people who have supported me and what we are trying to do to build a better country. In my riding, around the cabinet table, in the Liberal Party, and often across the aisle. And I want to thank the many, many public servants who work hard every single day to serve Canadians. It's been amazing working with you. Nobody really knows what it takes to get big things done until you've been part of doing them. I will never forget your support, your friendship, and wisdom. You're all the best. Je tiens à remercier le très grand nombre de personnes qui m'ont appuyé et qui ont soutenu ce que nous essayons de faire me. pour bâtir un pays meilleur. And to what we're doing to build a better country. In my riding, around the cabinet table, within the Liberal Party, and often across the aisle. And I don't want to thank the many, many public uh, servants who work so hard to serve Canadians. Working with you was extraordinary. I'm sure my kids are hiding, but this one is for you. And most of all, I want to thank my kids. I love you. And I couldn't be prouder of you. You have been on this incredible journey with me every single step of the way, on good days and on tougher ones. And you have always reminded me that the decisions we make are about your future and that of your generation. And that means climate and social justice need to be reflected every single time. Thank you. As for me, I'm looking forward to the summer. Lots of time with my kids and all the McKenna's. Lots of swimming in the Great Lakes, lots of writing, and lots of thinking about my next chapter. But I can tell you one thing for sure, I will be 100% focused on climate change. I'm proud of what we've done here in Canada, but there is so much more to do. And I look forward to contributing to the efforts as a mom, as a private citizen, and as a Canadian. Thank you. Merci. Thank you, Minister. Oh, loud.